All right, so let's do the zero of zero force members again. In this case, we have a different problem. Looking at this, you, uh, you have a pin connection and a roller connection, so we know that there's a force going in the x direction. And also for the pin direction, you have an x and a y. And then we have an external force, three newtons. All right, so the best thing to do to determine your zero force uh, members is starting out with the farthest joint. In this case, we have joint C. So we'll draw a free body diagram at C. So you have force going in this direction and a force going in that direction. So if we said that this is our X and this is our Y reference, looking at this right here, this is C. Let's call this CUX, negative CX. And this one right here is an actual force, and I'm going to call it F of CB. So if you do the summation in the x direction, well, zero, you know for a fact you have negative cx minus f of cb, let's call this theta, cosine theta equals zero. So from that, you can't really determine if they are zero or not because you have two unknown forces. Now if we do the in the y direction, all you're left with is negative F C B sine theta equals zero. So just by this, you automatically know that the force of C B is zero. So this is one of your zero force members. Now we're going back into the F direction, since we already know that this is actually zero, your C X, this right here, truss is actually a zero. So, so far we have those two zero force members. All right, and after you determine that, you move on, and you can actually pick any point you want at this point. In this case, I'm going to pick D. And if I picked D, I have an external force going in the y direction, 3 newtons. Then I have a truss. It can be either pointing down or up, doesn't matter. And then I have one right here. Since this is already 0, there's nothing on this side. So just looking at this, this right here, has a value, so in other words, summation in the y direction, let's call this f of db. So negative f db minus 3 equals 0. So you automatically know that this actually has a value, and in this case, it's a 3 newtons, but going up 3. So this cannot be a 0 member. And if you do this right here, this is by itself. So you automatically know that dx equals zero, if this was in the summation in the x direction. So we know for a fact that this right here is a zero force number. All right, now moving on, we can do point B. In this case, point B right here this right here, that, and this right here. This one right here is a zero, so we don't have to actually include it. So just by looking at this, we know that this one has a value, and this one right here, it's uh, undetermined, and that one, we pretty much we can't solve it since we have three unknowns at this point. So we move on to a different point. In this case, let's pick point A. Over here, since we have a roller connection, we know we have an external force going this way. And then the internal force, and another force here. So just by looking at this, you know for a fact that since you have an internal force right here, this right here is given. However, this, so if we look at it in the y direction, summation in the y direction equals zero. And let's call this the force of AE. You have FAE equals zero. So you know for a fact that this is a zero force member. But in this case, this one, if we do it in the summation in the x direction, you have the external force. I mean, I'm going to call this AX. So you have AX, and this one I'm going to call it F of AB minus F. Since we have a value here, 
this one actually has a value, so this is not a zero force member. And now, since you determined that, you can go back to point B, since we already solved for this right here, saying that pretty much this truss equals to the force that's acting outward. This one has a value, and we know that that has a value, and there you go. This must have a value since these two and the y and the x has a value, so this, therefore, this cannot be a zero force member. Just by looking at that, pretty much this is your zero force members are right here. And I hope that helped. So that's all you're left with. So technically, what you should be left with is this right here. And I hope that helped out, guys.